Well, what a delightful surprise. That's a merchant. Oh. Well, now I know that he's heading east. <laughs> well, I'll have to try to avoid that in the future. Um, I mean, listen. We could probably surmise that he's either going east or west. It's not like, you know, there's a whole lot of choice in here. But yeah, having it right on the money like that, that's a little bit unfair. Gives us quite the advantage, but... Uh, it's only help if I can't see him. Where did he go? Oh. Oh, we're still turning. So he's over... Where'd he go? <laughs> what a good cap. Three five eight. Oh, he's directly. I see a smoke even. Yeah. That's and yeah, I mean, you can tell the smoke's going that way and everything. It seems reasonable on a calm day that we would be able to deduce that that's the direction that this gentleman was heading. Now. Um, this is going to be a little interesting, because, um, Operation Monsoon does away with the, the, uh, the, the casual mode that is typical Silent Hunter torpedo attacks. But before I get onto that topic, let me make sure I don't get seen. It's kind of important. It's kind of a thing. Actually, we'll go real slow, because we're going to be just perfect here. In fact, let's just go one knot, please. Well, not zero. That'll do. I'm gonna let him get a little closer. That's that's plenty. That's plenty. That's that's just ab that that's good. I overdid it. Oh, hello, observation scope. Get down. Get down. There you go. So as you can see, this looks a little different. Uh, this is your your inputs for like the torpedo settings, depth, um, tube. I don't speak very good German, in case the intro didn't reveal that to you. Uh, Solvenschuss. That's a salvo fighter. Yeah. I'm using my context clues to figure out uh, what all this does, how it all works. But then over here, these are the actual uh, solution dialies. <laughs> Such a pro. Uh, this is a little bit more complicated than just, you know, you use the stodometer, plunk that in, then you use the AOB, you plunk that in, and then you wait, and then you maybe take another reading, and then the game says, ta-da! This is going to be a little bit more work. Uh, but as always, we do need to identify this. Get ready for clicking! It's not a tanker. It's not a tanker. It's not a tanker. Not a tanker. Nope, 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 nope. All of the nope in the world, not any of... Okay. We're now getting into an area of possible. Wait a minute. So, no. Mass structure isn't right. I should be looking closely at these uh, splits, so it's not that, obviously. It's not that. It's not that. Oh boy. <laughs> There's a million of these. <laughs> ah. oh. Looks like the stack is a little narrower. That is a composite. That's a split, so... Hang on. The prow isn't shaped correctly. Does not have any of these, it looks like. Let's continue on. Nope. Er, nope. It just has the one mast on either side of the stack. Nope. These are composites. That is a tanker. <laughs> be a teensy bit of a challenge. This is looking possible. An MKFKM. I don't think I can get, yeah, I can't get an order view. Um, I'm 
trying to see if it, it has a rigging that is going like that. It's a little bit cheesy, but I think that this is a strong candidate, and in fact, it's got this lifeboat here, and it's got it there. Looks like that might be a little bit too far f in the front, but I'm thinking that this is a likely candidate. Let's, uh, oh, well. Shiver me timbers. Oh, they're the same. Just a slightly different configuration. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. This is tra <laughs> This is really not very easy. Okay. There's the lifeboats there, and this one has it a little bit. There's a little bit more business going on. That's a pretty square prow there. I think it's this. What about this crap? What's this? Oh man, you guys, there's so many fucking ships. <laughs> oh my god, why? It's very important for this technique that we're going to use that I get this correct. So I'm willing to take a little bit of time here, but we don't have infinite time. So they're so similar. This pleases me, because the lifeboats are much closer to the front. Yeah. The stack doesn't seem quite high enough? I'm gonna probably return to that one. Yep, we're going back to that one. That one is, I think, the winner winner chicken dinner. M-K-F-M-I. I don't know what those stand for. I should probably learn that. So, <laughs> that was a little bit of a, a saga, but I think we got it. So we are going to be using the Stodometer, but we're not going to be using it the way that we normally do. That is about three degrees off the top. And so then we need to use the Cayube. And uh, what we do with this disc, it's not the attack disc, it's a little bit different from that. The attack disc actually is a way of... It's different. I don't, I don't want to go into it right now. <laughs> this is a, a set of, a series of discs. Um, like a early 2000s AAA game. So, let's see. I have gotten a reading of 3 degrees. I'm at 6 degrees zoom. I'm aligning the top black wedge with the number of degrees represented by the lower numbers on the middle ring, so three. And then I'm looking for the ship's mast height on the outer ring. Yeah, the ship's height is 29. So that'll be right here. And so if I go here, that is its range. It is approximately 3,900. And I have to turn that off. I lock that back in. Fine. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we can use this tool to figure out the AOB. I find it a little bit fussy, and I'm pretty good at eyeballing it. Um, so I'm just going to say... Say 65. Which is wrong. But I'm going to have to go with it, because that's what I'm thinking it is. Dread. 
Actually, that's 70. That's more likely. Um, all right. So now I'm going to uh, determine the ship's speed, and to do that, I need to come to a complete stop. Hopefully, and I can actually do away with this for now. And so what we're going to do is bring up the chronometer, and as he passes, we're going to see how long it takes for him to do that, actually. Now, we're not at a complete stop, so this reading may be wrong. In fact, it's very likely to be wrong. And he's Dutch. He's very Dutch. Um, that's 33. So then we have to look at his length, which is 126. So what we do is um, we find the time on the outer middle ring. So that's 33. And align it with the ship's length on the outside. So... That would be 33, which is here. <laughs> 33 and align that with 126. And so then, this should be the speed, which is 7.5. Uh, I will buy that. That is, that is actually not bad. So now I have to input that. Uh, where is Gagner Fart? All right, so now we've got a nice, beautiful solution. I'm going to get the uh, range one more time, just because things have changed. It's about 4.1. 4 4.1. Let's see. Align the top black wedge with the number of degrees. On the lower numbers of the middle ring, 4.1, 4.1, and then ship's mast height, the outer ring, 29, whoops, so he's gotten significantly closer, or we've gotten significantly closer, he's at about 2,900. this down a little bit. Got that locked. Let's get rid of this shit because you can't interact with anything if you have that going. We're ready to rock and roll, friends. Um, we're going to shoot a impact torpedo. Impact pistol torpedo. Better get ready. And I'm going to shoot another one. Uh, just for the hell of it. Probably because I'm not very confident, actually. And there you go. I think that's pretty decent. Um, but we'll find out, won't we? My range is off to start with, so that's not great, but hopefully one of those two will hit still. I'm thinking the second one has a better chance. We can go ahead and keep moving. It is a little bit unrealistic to be able to just put your uh, sub at a dead stop underwater, by the way. But, um... Video games. And we're getting an event camera. And that one is... Ooh, I think I would did a pretty good job. Torpedo Treffer! Way to go, me! It's getting secondaries. The other one was a dud. Mother of Pearl. Well, one might be enough. He's looking pretty bad off. I think I just heard another explosion. I'm not getting instantly penalized for shooting a, a Dutch ship or anything. What's he carrying? <laughs> the letter S. It's 
Sesame Street boat, I guess. So then, now I'm envisioning Muppets burning terribly. I think my identification was pretty much spot on. The rigging looks about right. And he's coming to a dead stop, it looks like. Has his propeller stopped? No. But it's moving quite slowly. Uh, I feel pretty good about that. I think my AOB might have influenced that, but the range was really actually pretty drastically wrong. Uh, since he's not sinking... Ring the bell! Ring the bell! Eat your heart out, Earl Hebner. Cool reference. Alright. So it's early in the war. And, you know, I'm feeling footloose and fancy free. Lethal! Cameron, Barkarov, Sieve, Rilder, and Bob, my friends. I can't remember what buttons to push. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Let's rock. Wahnsinnige Fahrt voraus. Anytime. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Neuer Kurs 2 0. Looks like they're fixing to. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Bruder. You need me to hold your dick? Come on. He's got excited. You shot too soon. They'll usually do that on their first shot. They will shoot prior to the gun being in position. It's kind of amusing. Alright, guys. Do mama proud. You tried. That's what counts. Boy, it is very clear and very smooth out. Oh my goodness. He is at a dead stop, actually. He's not moving. So, you guys are missing a uh, stationary target. That is really impressive. I'm really proud of you. Yeah, just brimming with pride. So, water line, that's that's down here. That's super helpful for sinking ships, hitting them. If we'd hit him with that other torpedo, I feel pretty confident that he'd be done for. This is not a very big ship. And I... Whoops. No, no, no. What am I doing? meant to slow down. Is that over there? What's that business? That might be my dead torpedo? I don't know. <laughs> Could be some kind of glitch related to that. I want to do it. I want to play... Alright. Mostly, I, I think I've fired two in consideration of my lack of expertise. See? That's how it's done. Speeding's up. This is how we do it. Just kind of, you know, go typewriter style along the hull. Fill it up with holes. Well, that wasn't very good. Yeah, because we don't... We're getting actually quite close to him. Thank God he isn't armed. He's got that platform ready to rock, but... Uh, there's just nothing there. And a few more hits, and then uh, we'll keep an eye. Ah, very good. Enemy unit destroyed! Ha! <laughs> are they at war with us at this point? I don't know if the Dutch are at war with us. I don't think that they are. But uh, that's fine. I'll take the tonnage. It's our first kill, everybody. In this hateful new world of that we live in. With beautiful graphics. Excellent. Very nice. Very pleased with this. And down they go. We've got. We've got this. See? Look at this cinematography. 
Put your heart out, Francis Ford Coppola. Some boilers exploding, it sounds like. Some oil slicks. Some happy little boxes. Very pleased. Very good. Feeling a little bit more confident with that system, too. I um, did have to do a couple of test runs when I was first uh, running through this. When I was going on my earlier patrol. I was a little bit uh, intimidated by it at first. But I think I'm getting it. We'll see how long that lasts. What's going on with that reflection? Who cares? I'm missing the point. This is a beautiful, beautiful thing that we did. Great job, team. Well done. Well done all around. 